Asia x Japan on equities at least is your most preferred call right now. Can you give us a better idea of within Asia you are looking? Well, there's probably two, two ways to look at it. Actually, Singapore is one of our key favorite market because it's really fitting well into this inflationary story. We see inflation going up. There will be more inflation scare coming over the next couple of weeks. And we do think you want to be positioned in financials. Singapore is heavy in financials. You want to be exposed to commodities. So we're actually looking also into more sector approach, uh, looking at industrials, looking at energies within Asia, looking at some of these companies and these sectors that are benefiting from this reopening up, not just in Asia, but particularly on the global side. And that's how we're currently positioned. And then when it comes to China, yes, markets underperform, but we start to see value emerging um, there and we're actually quite positive on China. I think it's, it's a bit of a bargain at this point and it's worth to start to uh, pile in. Adrian, good morning. Thank you for joining in this conversation. You've moved gold to uh, least preferred at a time when the yellow metal just started moving, hit a three-month high overnight. Well, yes, I mean, a lot of people would say gold's good inflation hedge. We actually look at it rather as a, a real interest rate play. And we do think inflation is going up, but there are more interesting areas, particularly the commodity side, where you want to be invested. Uh, one of our most preferred asset class is oil, and we are long energy stocks, for example, in our portfolios. But also the, the broader commodity complex still has upside. But gold, looking at higher interest rates, probably looking at the Fed at one point start to taper, that will be headwind for, for the gold, even in inflation is actually on the way to go up. Because real interest rates, we are now at minus 1% roughly, and probably over the next couple of months, we will drift rather to, to zero or closer to zero, and that's a headwind for gold. Mm -hmm. Sure, and you're also playing the pro-growth story rather than uh, the risk with rising inflation. Uh, I do want to understand on oil prices, what is your expectation? Where do you think oil prices would settle, Brent would settle by the end of this year? 75 US dollars, so there's still a bit of upside, but in particular, also the equity markets have less price in already the move we have seen in oil over the last 12 months. So therefore, there's even more upside, uh, but definitely oil is one of the beneficials of the reopening up. There will be more air traveling coming. People will start to drive again. We see this already in the U.S. where actually passenger traffic is, is going up and uh, globally, uh, the other countries will follow. Uh, so there's more demand coming up. Supply is still quite tight, despite Iran maybe starts to deliver a bit more oil into the market. And therefore, I think this is still an interesting play. And then in general, you just want to be positioned for this reflation trade. You want to be risk on. We still risk on in equity side, uh, commodities, um, but uh, you want to hedge basically this inflation risk that is maybe emerging.